Hey guys, welcome to the D-Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm a knitter living in West Texas. <laughs> yes, uh, I live in West Texas and I am a knitter and Texans do knit. I know, it's news to everyone. We knit, you guys. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is my crafty podcast primarily about yarn and knitting and anything fiber related. Uh, so if you're a new viewer, welcome to the podcast. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Thanks for coming back over and over and over again. So, um, today's Monday. It's Labor Day. It's officially September, which is super exciting because September's my birthday month and I love fall. So... Now, I say I love fall. It's not like officially fall. I feel like the the weather's starting to break. We're not getting like the sun that wants to kill me anymore. I think the sun like hates everyone less now and it's kind of calming down, which is nice to see. But anyway, uh, yeah, today is going to be a high of 86 degrees Fahrenheit as opposed to the 90s and 100s we were seeing previously. Uh, now the reason it's only 80, high of 86 today is because it's actually cloudy and rainy, which is pretty nice. Um, get a little rain, water the grass, uh, that sort of thing, get some flash floods going on. Um, if you're not familiar uh, with West Texas, it, we don't get a lot of rain out here. Um, so the ground dries up in the summer and when you have really hard dry ground and it rains the water doesn't penetrate into the soil very well so it ends up sitting on top most of it now some of it gets soaked in right or falls between the cracks because it where the ground is dry enough it literally cracks right so the water will, you know, go in there, but for the most part, it just stays on top and causes flooding uh, into the roads, um, into the parking lots, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, yesterday it rained pretty well and I was driving and it was intense. Um, but, um, yeah, if you're familiar with that type of thing, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you're not, this is not a weather podcast, so it's a knitting podcast. But I just mention it because I'm originally from Michigan, and uh, there it rains quite often. So this, the ground is somewhat moist. So when it rains, most of it gets soaked up into the ground. But here, where the ground is really, really dry after baking in the 100 degree heat all day long, all week long, and then all of a sudden it rains, I mean, that water's got to go somewhere. So if it's not going in the ground, it is heading down a hill wherever it wants to go. And if you're in town, it's going in a parking lot or something. So anyway... Uh, yeah, so it's a it's a gorgeous cloudy day and um, the AC isn't having to work on overtime, so I'm very happy. Now, that being said, it is still going to be a high of 86 degrees today, so it's not like, woo, get your sweaters out. All right, doesn't matter. I'm still wearing a shawl, even though it's going to be kind of warm. <laughs> I am inside, so it's not like I'm dying. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm wearing a shawl that I designed. And actually, you guys, I have this pattern uh, released today. So today is the first day. It's available on Ravelry. And this pattern is called Reverie. So it is a triangle-shaped shawl knit from side to side. It uses three colors. There's garter stitch and brioche. So you need to know how to knit 
and you need to know how to brioche knit and purl. And that's pretty much it. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about it, except I love it. It's, um, in my opinion, a pretty easy knit. Granted, you do need to know how to brioche. Um, but there is, there are tutorial videos on YouTube. There are classes you can buy through Craftsy, which, is that called Blueprint now? Are the Craftsy video classes a part of Blueprint, or are they still craftsy? I don't know. I should look that up. Anyway, because I have purchased craftsy classes, I feel like they're still craftsy, right? They're still craftsy class. I don't know. Anyway, there are classes you can purchase, video tutorials that you can follow along with, um, available online through various resources. So, um, you can also take classes at fiber events, like for example, um, DFW Fiber Fest in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, not only has vendors who sell yarn and fiber and knitting and spinning equipment and whatnot, um, you can also take classes to learn new techniques. So, um, if you're wanting to learn how to knit or brioche knit or do lace work or color work or any of those things, not only is YouTube <laughs> and the internet a great resource, but you also have other options available to you with more support and assistance. Um, now I learned to brioche knit from the Craftsy class on brioche knitting. Uh, paid for the class and I still have access to the videos I can go back and watch them and I loved it it was really easy to follow along you can ask questions and the teacher will answer and you can see other people's questions and the answer and it was a really great experience so um, I highly recommend that mostly because I've tried it and I like it I also like YouTube, but you can't always find what you're looking for, um, especially if you don't know what it's called. <laughs> Internet, find me that one thing that person showed me two weeks ago. Sometimes I wish the Internet knew what I was talking about, and then I'm thankful I'm not spied on all of the time, so anyway. Random, random. <laughs> no one wants to hear this, Alicia. Anyway, so yes, Reverie is available on Ravelry. Those two words sound a lot alike. And um, I put my patterns on 20% off for the first month when I release a new pattern. So today is September 3rd. So this pattern will be 20% off from now until October 3rd. A whole month. No coupon code is necessary. Everyone gets the 20% off. So um, you should just see that applied at the checkout. Now, speaking of shawls, I am having a shawl knit along starting September 22nd, okay? So September 22nd through December 21st will be the All the Shawls of Fall knit along slash crochet along. So you can knit or crochet shawls any yarn, any pattern, any size. Whips count. Double dip. What else can I say? It's just about knitting shawls. So you can start your shawls early. I just ask that you finish them during the dates of the knit along. So between September 22nd and December 21st. Now, if you knit one of my patterns, you get two entries. <laughs> So, um, there will be a prize, uh, or prizes, um, at the end of the knit along. And so every time you finish a shawl, I just ask that you take a picture, post it in the finished objects thread, and that gets you an entry in for a prize. Now, if you knit one of my patterns, you get to enter it twice as a bonus. So this pattern counts, the Reverie Shawl. 
I also have the Daydreamer shawl and the Serendipity shawl. And the Serendipity shawl is a free pattern for those of you interested in a free pattern. Okay. Is there anything else I need to say about that? Oh, if you are a maker, yarn dyer, designer, whatever, and you would like to donate prizes to the podcast, please get in touch with me on um, Ravelry. Just send me a message. Again, I'm Liddy Knits 2 on Ravelry. Um, just get in touch with me. Okay, and if you have questions, send me a message. <laughs> awesome. So... Yes, that that covers announcements. Um, we still have the blanket knit alongs going on. I did not do anything on my blanket this week. Nothing. I need to get going. <laughs> All right. So, um, yes, had a full week of classes. Um, lots and lots of emails. Lots and lots of questions and hanging out at work helping students so um I have not I will admit I have not done a lot of knitting so um first thing I want to talk about is dad's sweater did nothing wanted to have it done for this episode and it's sitting on the couch I was picking up stitches this morning on that last button band I did close up the second armpit so I did do something. All right, both armholes are closed. The ends are woven in. That is finished. All I have to do is knit the button band with the button holes in it. Then sew the buttons on the other side and it will be finished. I did not get it done by this episode like I wanted to. Oh well, next time. <laughs> but yes, it's on the couch. I didn't want to move it. It is precariously placed with, um, I'm still picking up stitches for the, for the button band, but once I get all the stitches on the needle, it should be pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of getting going and trying to match the ribbing on the other side of the, of the button band, the collar, the opening, whatever. You do ribbing, two by two ribbing on the side, and you know you want it all to line up. So once I get all of those logistics worked out, and I just knit and purl and do the buttonholes, and that'll be quick and easy. So yeah, <laughs> I am so close, so close. But yeah, I am knitting uh, the Ranger by Jared Flood. It, that is a paid-for pattern on Ravelry. It is a nice... It's a nice cardigan for a man, but I feel like it's also a nice unisex pattern. Like, I wouldn't mind having one of those cardigans, honestly. So, um... Excuse me. Yes, it is a worsted weight pattern. Um... With texture. The whole thing is texture. And the construction is different from what I'm used to because it's bottom up and the ones I've done previously were top down. So it was something new, which is awesome. I love doing new things, learning new things, um, cause you never know until you try. So I like it. It's, the pattern is written really well. It's easy to, fo to follow along. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's just a matter of sitting down and doing it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I don't have it here to show, but hopefully next time. Okay. I am also knitting a cardigan for myself. <laughs> Different pattern, though. Different pattern. This is uh, Polly by Isabel Kramer, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Love those free patterns just love it so um yeah this is a cardigan I feel like this is also a really nice uh unisex piece uh, I think they were all females all the project pages I looked at were females 
But then I knew I was knitting it for myself, and I'm a female. Were there any males? I don't think so. But I feel like it would still suit a man. I say that, not having seen it on a man. I don't know. Maybe I'll have Michael try it on. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so top-down construction. Again, this is a free pattern, so... I feel like I can talk about it a little bit. Um, top down. Uh, we've got nice garter stitch on the yoke and then stripes down the body. And as you can see, I bound off the body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I have a progress keeper here, which of course is backwards, but it's a, it's a campfire. Not that it matters. Anyway, that's where I was um, last week, so I didn't have very far to go. I did um, garter stitch on the bottom, which is what the pattern calls for. Now, I did see one picture, um, one of the projects, where she did uh, ribbing at the bottom, like two by two ribbing, and I thought it looked really nice. But I decided to go with a pattern so that the garter stitch at the bottom would match the garter stitch at the top, and and I went for it. So, but the the one with the two by two ribbing also looked really nice, and I I flipped a coin and went with garter. Anyway, so I have um, started one of the sleeves. Yep, um, I do not like doing sleeves two at a time because I want to be able to try it on as I go so I have not started the other sleeve yet you can see I have nice bright green waist yarn that my stitches are on so I still have that bright green over here I have not taken that that waist yarn out yet I will at some point but yeah so you just continue the stripes down the sleeve the same as on the body. And so I've done a couple of stripes. I'm really excited because the sleeves go so quickly in comparison to the body because, you know, it's not as wide of an opening. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So yeah, this gray, um, the main color is actually the same gray in the shawl, <laughs> so I can wear my Reverie shawl with my Polly cardigan and it will totally match. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so this yarn is Cloud Born. It is fingering weight, merino nylon blend, and the color is Shayla Heather, which is a nice very nice neutral gray. The stripes are, um, this is Holiday Yarns. Again, Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. And the color is vanilla. Which is very appropriate because it is, it is vanilla. Like, it's not tonal. It's a very solid cream color. But I like it. I really, really like it. So I have my two yarn balls right here. Shayla Heather and Vanilla, and yeah. I think, is this the second ball? This is the second ball. It's not the third, is it? It's the second? I think so. The pattern called for three balls for the medium size, which is what I'm knitting. The pattern also called for size two and a half needles, but I'm using US 4 instead of US two and a half, I did swatch. I have gauge. I'm only like one stitch off or something. So remember that guys, you want to swatch. You want to make sure you have gauge. Yeah, I finished the body and I'm on to a sleeve and I'm really excited. Yeah. I need to finish dad's sweater, you guys, so that I can stop stressing about it because to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of stressing that I'm going to lose interest and I'm never going to finish it. So I just need to finish it. 
Okay, so I have a new cast on. I have two sweaters going, two blankets. I'm designing shawls and I really got a cast on something new. What is wrong with me? Whatever. It's not for me, it's a gift. So I'm excused, right? <laughs> anyway, this is living in my Star Wars bag, my super nerdy sock bag. Um, this is a bag that I made, uh, D Hard House Creations. The ones I make for myself, I don't always put a tag in, and I should. I'm getting better about it. Anyway, all right. So in here, I have some gift knitting. So I've started some of my Christmas knitting. So um, yes, the yarn is something I haven't used before. So I'm trying something new. This is Barocco Socks Metallic. Metallic. I have not used sparkly yarn before. I know, I know. So, um, yeah, Barocco Socks Metallic, so this is, what's up with these percentages? 73% superwash wool, 25% nylon, 2% other fiber, for the metallic, I guess. I just think that's hilarious. 73, 25, 2%. Um, but yeah, it's super washable with nylon. Um, and then I'm guessing the 2% other fiber is the sparkly bit. Anyway, let me show you the ball. Wow. Oh yeah. I think you can see the metallic in there. Oh yes. So it's very autumnal. Yes. Orange, green, brown, tan. Yes. And it does kind of stripe. And you can see it in the ball that they're not even stripes. And yeah, it's got the metallic sparkly all throughout. So I started a pair of socks. Did I say that already? I don't even remember. Uh, how many, how many, is this 100 grams? 100 grams, yes. So I bought this at our local yarn shop when it was closing. That's right. Um, I no longer have a local yarn shop. So everything was on sale. So I just, you know, threw stuff in the cart. I will take anything you have. Um, so yeah, I got this knowing that I would make socks for someone as a gift. So I have started them. And... I've done a decent amount. So I am knitting these uh, cuff down. Okay, I did a German twisted cast on, which I think looks really nice on the edge. And yeah, you can see, oh my gosh, look at that sparkle. <laughs> uh, the stripes are not even. They're kind of, they're not random. I mean, they can't be, can they? I'm pretty sure the more I do, the easier it's going to be to see the pattern. But anyway, uh, I'm doing three by one rib. So knit three, pro one, knit three, pro one. And uh, yeah, I have a progress keeper on here just because <sighs> it seems like such a silly thing, but it makes the project more fun when you've got your little progress keeper on here that matches your project and it just gives you that makes you smile like oh look how cute it looks and it makes you want to work on it and it seems like such a silly thing but I don't care I'm gonna admit it I'm like a magpie and I want my little shiny shiny on here so it motivates me to work on it which is weird but anyway that's where I was yesterday or the day before and I did all this yesterday so now I can move it up anyway Oh, whatever. <laughs> I am knitting these as a gift, and just in case that person is watching, I'm not going to say who they're for. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, you'll know if you receive these for Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm going to do uh, ribbing all along the leg and then probably carry it down on the top of the foot so it fits snugly on the foot. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. This is my car knitting slash watching an intense TV show like Jack Ryan on Prime, which is really good. Um, yeah, so 100 grams all in one ball, just taking from the outside. I will definitely get a pair out of this and then have some extra to do something with. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I have started some Christmas knitting and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, what else do I have to talk about? Nothing else knitting or crafting related, honestly. Um, yes, that's it. Two sweaters, a pair of socks, new shawl pattern, shawl knit along coming up. That's it. I say that's it. That's still a lot of stuff. So, um, yes, if you are just here for the crafting content, that's all I have for you. And I'll I will see you guys when I see you. Bye!